And again, this is Destiny Rider. This is my follow-up review to the Samurai Megazord review I did the other day. Today I'm going to be playing with the interchangeability of the Zords with their MFER Megazord reissue from last year. The ports that use allows the arms and legs to be swapped out. It's a rather awkward thing, but I figured, what the heck. I did this just for the laugh of it. It's the dino tanker configuration, whatever you want to call it. The MMPR Megazord takes it first during its combination with the Mastodon body, the Triceratops and Tertius Hanger replaced with the bear, the dragon, the ape, and the turtle zords. And here we have it fully erect as the Megazord form. The really awkward thing about this process is, as you can see, if you look at compared to the Lion Zord versus the Tyrannosaurus, his legs come at an angle, his are straight. So these are not the most balanced combinations. One good nudge and he might just fall over rather easily. And here is his counterpart, the Samurai Megazord with the arms and legs replaced. Since the lion forms the core, the only part from the other zords in this model in this form is the helmet, as you can obviously see. Everything else is just the lion zord. As I said just a minute ago, these are not a very stable combinations. He's even less and his legs come straight down. The other form it's simple, but him He's like resting on his very tiptoes and standing at an angle. Those little pegs on the underside should be touching the ground. The box art for the Samurai Megazord makes a point that it can do this, swap the parts out and out. My problem with this is I don't see the logic of making a point of something that just doesn't look right. I mean, like I just showed you twice. It's awkward. You have the split leg configuration on the Samurai Megazord and the straight legs on the Megazord. It just doesn't look right when it's standing there and it's not balanced right. I mean, if I do this on a soft surface like my original review, they were falling over left and right. I was lucky to find this in a box to work with. This is a close up of the dragon and bear samurai zords with this attached to the lion zord and you can see how they rest on the ground there. here they are again now attached to the Tyrannosaurus, and you can see that there are only two tiny contact points on each side at this point I'm going to make a few additions to my first review of this one I sort of call what the hell Bandai, because the Red Ranger figurine for the first review was supposed to be riding on the back of the Tiger's Zord. His Tiger's rear legs contain two mounting points that the Red Ranger's legs attach to, even though the legs don't actually fit. The, you need to stretch them a little bit to get them fit properly. And it's also somewhat, you know, anachronistic, just its excuse to sell toys, because as anyone who actually would watch the show would know, the tiger never actually gets to be that size. It's either, well, it doesn't actually have any size, it's just one size, giant size. And also you have the tail. About an inch and a half away from his behind. Next I'd like to make a slight correction. I realized later after reading the instructions that this is how the Tiger Zord is supposed to be attached to the Megazord with the wheelie disc bit up. If you actually watch my first video, it's the other way around when I did it. So I cannot read the instructions. I've also found it kind of odd that the sword actually holds better in there. 
in the left hand because I can twist this the whole way around and it won't fall out. We'll poke itself on the leg, but that's a different story. A little bent already. Meanwhile, placing it in the right arm where it belongs, it is flimsy and it just falls out the first note. And this, it sits a whole quarter of an inch out of the hole. I mean, I know the bottom has to be closed because of the turtle design, but I mean, why not just make the sword shorter so it fits? Next, I'd like to make a slight correction. I realized later after reading the instructions that this is how the Tiger Zord is supposed to be attached to the Megazord with the wheelie disc bit up. If you actually watched my first video, it's the other way around when I did it. So I cannot read the instructions. I've also found it kind of odd that the sword actually holds better in that in the left hand because I can twist this the whole way around and it won't fall out. We'll poke itself on the leg, but it's a little bent already. Meanwhile, placing it in the right arm where it belongs, it is flimsy and it just falls out the first note. And this it sits a whole quarter of an inch out of the hole. I mean, I know the bottom has to be closed because of the turtle design, but I mean, why not just make the sword shorter so it fits? And I also noticed a minor another inaccuracy compared to the TV show version. Remember my complaint about the horns? Well, going back and rewatching Tora Origami's first appearance in Shikinger, the drills should be the other way around. It should be the two in the back should be on the bottom, but if you try to do that here, they don't fit. Either the drills get in the way of the docking latches, or the docking latch gets in the way of the drills. You can't have either or. Okay, that's it for this time around. I should, I'm going to be trying to be doing this at least once a week. My uh, next video is planned to be a full-length What's the Matter Bandai, comparing the quality of the recent toys versus what we got when we were little. Based around the simple comparisons of the original Tyrannosaurus and the more recent one.